to what if I have diabetes but I'm not overweight? So you may or may not have type 2 diabetes. That is best to be left to your medical practitioner. But I will tell you that belly fat is most often associated with insulin resistance and that is hallmark for type 2 diabetes. So if you're overweight, if you have high blood sugars, chances are you may have type 2 diabetes. And Asian people and uh, people from other, other ethnicities can get diabetes with a, with a much lower body mass index and weight than other ethnic groups. Or it may be type 1 and a half diabetes. Now type 1 and a half diabetes, it's not an official term. However, it is another name that people use for what we call LADA, which is L-A-D-A, Latent Autoimmune Diabetes of Adulthood. What this is, is it's kind of like type 1 diabetes, but not really. We know that type 1 diabetes is a very, very fast, quick loss of all of your beta cells in a relatively short period of time, like within a couple of months. The person who gets this type 1 diabetes will die without insulin injections every day. And it's unfortunately quite often it's our children. But what this type 1 and a half or LADA diabetes is, is it's a slow beta cell loss that is usually not related to insulin resistance and having a big belly. So this slow beta cell loss will happen over months to years. And insulin will be needed eventually. Now we know that type 1 diabetes is fast beta cell loss, usually within a few months. But this type of diabetes is a form of insulin deficiency, not resistance. Now some oral agents, such as the sulfonylureas, or other medications that you can learn about in one of the other video lessons, will also cause a quick progression to insulin use, as these oral agents, the sulfonylureas specifically, will help to deplete your pancreas's ability to make insulin. Now many people who have this type of diabetes, the type 1 and a half LADA, may also have a family history of adult onset diabetes. It's often associated with insulin antibodies. So your medical practitioner will probably do a blood test to test to see if you have antibodies. This is not an emergency situation, but it does need treatment. And do not wait, please. If you're relatively thin and you have diabetes, it could be type 1 and a half. It also could be type 1 diabetes, which, like I said, is complete or almost complete beta cell failure, not resistance to insulin. Often people need insulin upon diagnosis, and it's associated with insulin antibodies also. It's also associated quite often with a recent viral infection. That viral infection could come in the form of the flu, it can come in the form of Coxsackie, or any other viral infection, pneumonia. And because it often affects children, the symptoms are quite profound. Many times, families do have a history of type 1 diabetes, but not always. I know in my situation, my son has type 1 diabetes. He was diagnosed at 18 months old. And there was no family history at all. Often, people are diagnosed before the age of 30. But again, not always. Type 1 diabetes is associated with commonly known onset symptoms of drinking a lot of water, almost to the point of where it's being ridiculous. They also will urinate an awful lot. And they'll be extremely hungry. We call this polydipsia, polyuria, and polyphasia. Often associated with symptoms of undiagnosed type 1 diabetes, dizziness, irritability, mental fogginess. It's also very, very sudden onset within a couple of months. Comes on very, very hard and very fast. And there's an unexpected weight loss where all of a sudden, all of your symptoms, which never go away, you look in the mirror and you've lost 10, 20 pounds. 
it is extremely high blood sugar over a very short period of time. So type 1 diabetes, undiagnosed but suspected, is an extremely emergency situation and must be addressed immediately or coma and death can result. And it can happen rather quickly in a matter of days. The complete or near complete loss of insulin production requires insulin injections to remain alive. So never delay medical treatment for this acute form of diabetes. So I hope you have a better understanding of the different types of diabetes. I'm Christine Riviere, your paleo practitioner.